one independent computer repair company with offices in Omaha and Lincoln. This is Compute This. Good morning, folks, and welcome in to Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, and Papillion. 866-496-8772. That's the number to join us on the program this morning. Of course, if you ask a question or make a comment, we will put you in the drawing. I say, of course, like, you know, everybody does it. Uh, but, of course, when you listen to Compute This, we'll put you in the drawing for a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate that you can use for anything your heart desires. Um, so it's good for products, services, all kinds of stuff. And there's a, there's a lot to talk about today, um, a lot to go through on the show. Of course, we want to say welcome to all of our Facebook fans at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. Uh, if you're on Facebook right now, you can watch the show live, actually. Uh, also, if you miss part of the program... Uh, we have a lot of ways for you to pick up the show later on. So, for example, you can always go over to schrockinnovations.com, click on radio show, and then uh, you can see all of the all of the previously posted shows are, are there for you as well. Uh, we also have the uh, the segments from TV, actually, the Omaha Morning Blend. Um, and just a quick heads up: if you watch the Omaha Morning Blend, um, I'm not sure that it's uh, there's time left to really do anything about it, but uh, they are canceling that show. Um, everybody there, all the producers and air talent, everybody got pink slipped, and they are done. Uh, so the Omaha Morning Blend is going away, which means our segments are going to have to go away too because it's kind of hard to have a segment if there's no show. And so uh, this was a, a corporate decision. They have a, a national show that they do called Ben and Kelly with Kelly Pickler that they're going to put on uh, KMTV Channel 3 instead. Um, so, I mean, it's, maybe it's good, maybe it's not, we don't know. But uh, So the TV segments, we might have to find a new TV station. That's going to be kind of interesting. So uh, just something to keep in mind there. We've got another couple weeks left of the Omaha Morning Blend. But if you want to see any of the previous videos that we've done for the Omaha Morning Blend, you can check those out at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. Once again, 866-496-8772. Those are the numbers to join us on the show today. Ask a question, make a comment. Here's the thing. You remember back when you were in school, and the teachers always told you either shut up, kid, or two, there's no such thing as a stupid question, and you could ask the question. It depends on the kind of teacher you had, you know? Uh, I had both kinds. Um, I actually had a teacher in fifth grade. He was kind of revolutionary at the time because when I was in fifth grade, you know, people, men didn't wear earrings. That was like, that was new, right? And so uh, his name was Mr. Urban, and he was a fifth grade teacher, and he wore an earring, and... Uh, he let the students strike. It was very progressive. Um, so, you know, we'd all start pounding on our desk, a bunch of fifth graders pounding, on strike, on strike. And he didn't really know what to do, so he just let us strike. Like, you just ride out the strikers, I guess. You know, he didn't bring in, you know, the, the unis to, to bust up the union. There were no scab students that came into the classroom to, to do our homework for us. You know, he just he didn't know what to do, so he just you know, let us strike. Um, but I digress. There, there's no union busting going on here on Compute This. No, none whatsoever. Uh, so basically, the, uh, this week we've got a ton going on, guys, uh, and there's gonna be, it's going to be a challenge to get through it all on the show. But if you have questions, I do want your calls because the callers make the show. So if you have a question or a comment, something that you've just been wondering about, there's no such thing as a silly question. When you ask, you have that question. A lot of other people also have the question. They're just not brave enough to hit those digits, 866-496-8772. All right, so the big news of the weekend uh, it's been kind of weird. We had a situation, obviously, uh, about two weeks ago with the Spring Creators Update. Uh, the Spring Creators Update is an update that Microsoft is going to put out that's going to literally upgrade you to a brand new version of Windows 10. Now, we spent a lot of show time talking about this before, so I'm just going to hit the highlights on it today. Basically, this update was released, and then they found a bug. And so then the update was pulled, and now it is going to be re-released on Monday. So this would be on Monday the 30th. For those of you hearing this broadcast after the 30th, this was released on Monday the 30th. Now here's the thing. If you purchased a copy of Schrock Safe Upgrade, the whole point, the whole reason that Schrock Safe Upgrade exists is because when some mind-numbingly stupid thing happens, like, oh gosh, we released the update, and then it was blowing up a bunch of computers, so we had to pull the update, and now we're going to re-release it again, what happens if you got that update? 180 of our customers got that update before it was pulled. Well, a couple of them had some problems. It was a blocking bug. A couple of them had some problems getting things to work right, uh, so we were able to roll them back. Uh, a couple of other people had you know, weird incidental. We had one person who did lose all their documents. It was weird. They lost their documents, but not their pictures, 
not their downloads, none of that stuff, just their documents. So that was that was pretty weird. Um, so anyway, the the, the Shrock Safe upgrade is designed to automatically and easily install the Spring Creators update for you. Now, to make things even more confusing, I've been consistently calling it the Spring Creators update because that's what it was originally called. Its name changed. Now it's called the April update. And I don't know why they changed it to the April update. Maybe that like took it on the, like it was a nightmare, so it took on kind of an identity of its own. Like, oh gosh, if this April update would please be gone. Oh, I just want to work on like the September update, okay? Because um, there's going to be another one in six months. Um, this one is going to add some new functionality to your computer. It's going to make some cosmetic changes to your computer. But here's the thing that you don't really really realize about Windows 10. If you don't keep up with your versions of Windows 10, if you don't keep installing the new versions, because these, ver these updates, they are automatic. You can procrastinate them for up to 30 days if you want to, but eventually you will get them. There is no stopping it. Unless your hardware won't support the update, then you don't get it. Now, here's the thing. If your hardware doesn't support the update and you don't get it, within about a year and a half, your computer is going to be exiled from the security community. What that means is you don't get any more updates. So it used to be back in the day, you buy like Windows 7, and you could use it for like 10, 12 years before you had to upgrade to like Windows 10. And now what's happening is you're getting a version of Windows 10. They just did this with the anniversary update, which obviously came out one year after the release of Windows 10. So this came out about two years ago, the anniversary update. Everybody got this. is the first big update that everybody got that took them into this, this new world of Windows 10. Well, those people whose computers, primarily their video cards, can't run the newer version of Windows 10, they're stuck on the anniversary update. Microsoft just ended support for the anniversary update. What that means to you is, if you have that version of Windows 10, you will not get any more security patches moving forward. And eventually, other services and products will be ended for your computer as well. Things like browsers, things like security software. Uh, eventually it'll say, not compatible with the anniversary update uh, or back. Microsoft really needs to find a, a cooler name, a cooler way to name this stuff because this is nothing new to Apple users. You know, for those of you who have Apple computers, this is how the world works. You get a new OS X, you don't have to pay for the new OS X, but you have to have the hardware to run it. It's like the Apple tax. You know, if you've paid three times what you're supposed to pay for the hardware you get, you're getting the updates for free. It's part of the service, right? But when you get to the point where your hardware won't run the new version of OS X anymore, you're stuck with the version of OS X you had. And it works for a while, but then eventually the software makers stop making programs for your version of Windows 10. Then your Mac becomes a doorstop and you have to buy a whole new computer. It's the same thing with Windows now. So eventually what's going to happen is you're going to have to buy a whole new computer. For most people, it's not a big deal. They'll never see this. It won't be a problem because the average computer built today that's sold at box stores lasts 18, maybe 24 months. We're pretty frugal in Nebraska. So you might get two years out of it before it blows up in your face. And keep in mind, those of you who right now are saying, but Thor, I only use my computer for Internet, email, maybe some, some online bill pay. That's all I really use it for. I'm not a big user. That's the thing. These computers that last 18 to 24 months, they're designed for you. You are the target user, someone who doesn't do a lot, and they last 18 to 24 months. If I got down in front of one of these things and started working on it like it was an office computer and you know, doing all the things that we do at Schrock and plugging hard drives in and out of it and doing all this craziness, it would be rough. It would not last 18 months. I'm just saying it wouldn't last 18 months. And so we're going to get into that in the second segment of the show a little bit about talking about the differences between the computers and how they were built before and how they're built now. But suffice to say, you want to get the update. This update that's coming out, Microsoft wants you to get it. You're going to want to get it, but you're going to want to get it in a controlled way. Um, I told you about the person who lost all of her documents, and it was the weirdest, quirkiest, stupidest thing. She lost all of her documents, but not her pictures, not her downloads, not her stuff on her desktop, just the documents folder. And there was no getting it back. We, uh, we scanned it for data recovery. There was no getting it back. This is why you want to use Schrock Safe Upgrade. Because when you have Schrock Safe Upgrade, it's like getting a warranty on your installation. Now, we do have a few copies of this left. 
at schrockinnovations.com. You can click on uh, shop and then specials and buy it there. You can also call the service centers. We're open Saturday from 10 until 8, Sunday from noon to 5. But the Schrock Safe Upgrade is designed to make these updates bearable. It's designed to give you uh, a warranty when something goes wrong so that we can scan your stuff and we can try to get your stuff back. Uh, yeah, 18 months PC blowing up, exactly what fails. I'll get to it, Robert. Second segment, calm down, Facebook commentators. Um, you really don't want to install this update on your own because, number one, what if your hard drive is going bad? If the update fails when it's moving your files from one place to the other, which is probably what happened to that poor woman that lost her documents, it moved the pictures, it moved the desktop, it moved the downloads, it got to the documents folder, and something failed. Somebody turned the computer off saying, oh, I think it's locked up. You know, something failed. The power blinked. Something failed. And when that something failed, that was lost. So that's one example of something that can go wrong. What if your hard drive is bad? Same problem. What if you have a virus on your computer? Same problem. What, you know, what if you don't have the previous update because it wasn't compatible with your computer? Same problem. Now you're trying to get the new one, and you're not going to get that one either. But you don't know that all you have to do is put a new video card in your computer, and then you can use this computer for another you know, however many years. Well, how are you going to ever figure that out unless you have something like Shrocksafe Upgrade to tell you, hey, we couldn't install this update on your computer. And I'm sorry, you know, let me, let me, we're the bomb. So we couldn't do it. If we can't do it, you're not going to be able to do it. There's something not right here. Let's get this thing on the bench and take a look at it and figure out why we can't get it done. Okay? And we've done that for hundreds of customers. We've, we've bought them another couple years in their computer. Our job is to give you options, but we can't give you those options unless we know there's a problem. So here's the deal. Uh, Schrock Safe Upgrade, there's a few copies left on the website. You can still buy them at schrockinnovations.com. Uh, you click on Shop and then click on Specials. For those of you who already purchased the Schrock Safe Upgrade, it doesn't matter if you've already run it once. Now, th let me, I should back a little bit here. You have to buy a Schrock Safe Upgrade for each of the upgrades that comes out. So right now, the Spring Creators update, or now the April update, that's one update. So you, that's just, we're calling that one update. The next one that comes out in, like, September, you'd have to get another Schrock Safe upgrade for that one. If you bought Schrock Safe upgrade for the previous upgrade that came out last September, you've used that one. It's gone now. You have to get one for the current update, because otherwise it'll install the wrong update, right? <laughs> we don't want that. So you've got to get one for the current update that's installing, which on the website is called the Spring Creators Update. We left the name alone just to prevent any confusion, okay? So that is the update that's going to be installed on Monday the 30th. That is the update that is going to upgrade you to a brand new version of Windows on your computer. It's going to install a new version of Windows. It is then going to move your documents, your programs, your registry, everything that makes your computer your computer from the old version of Windows into the new version of Windows. And then it's going to throw out the old version of Windows, and you'll have only the new version left. And in theory, the computer should reboot, and everything should be right with the world. And Microsoft is pretty good at what they do, to be honest. So it's going to reboot and be right with the world about 80% of the time. But 20% of the time, it's not. And you don't have to be a mathematician for me to tell you, if we're going to hit you with this twice a year indefinitely going forward, and 20% of the time it fails, within a couple, two, three years, you're going to experience one of these failures. And when you experience one of these failures and you come into the shop because your computer won't boot, because your data's gone, because the, the update is stuck in a loop, it just inst tries to install and it fails, and the computer reboots and it tries to install it again and it fails and it reboots, and you can't do anything with the computer because it's in a loop, we're going to need an hour to two hours of labor to get that straightened out on the bench for you. And then we're going to install the new update. Well, heck, that's 200 bucks. So just get the safe upgrade. It's like a little insurance policy so that if something goes wrong, it's only $50. That's, safe upgrade's $50, guys. It's $49.99. You get safe upgrade. You install it on your computer. And when the update comes, you're ready to go. So here's the thing. If you have purchased the Spring Creators Update Shrock, uh, Shrock Safe Upgrade, if you have that one, now is the time to go to your Schrock account at schrockinnovations.com and download that safe upgrade software, okay? If you've already downloaded it before, about 180 of you did install your Schrock safe upgrade previously. If you've done that previously, you don't have to download it again. The version you downloaded before is the exact same as the version you have now. We're just going to push out a new update to download. So it's going to download a new update, the, the newer version of the update, okay? Right now, if you try to run that software, it's going to say, ah, 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 not time yet. 
And I know there are going to be some of you at like 8.02 a.m., the moment Microsoft releases this thing, that you are going to be you know, right on the email. Why is it still saying I can't do my update yet? Brr. Well, I thought you guys were on it. We are on it. We're testing it before we just throw you to the wolves, okay? So I'm going to install it on my computer at work. Then I'm going to install it on my computer at home. And Robert and Alfonso and Mark are going to install it on their computers. And then in Lincoln, we're going to have the front desk people install it on their computers. And then we're going to install it on a couple customers' computers that are in our shop that have been holding, have us hold their computer to do the update. Yes, we'll do it in the shop too. And then once we know that it's going to work good for everybody, at that point, we will turn on the floodgates, send out a mass email to everybody who purchased saying, it's time to run the update. Please run the update quickly. Now, in the email, I make it sound like it's the end of the world. Do it right beeping now, okay? Like, now, do it now. People email me back, gnashing of teeth, tears streaming. But I'm at work right now, and I can't get home till lunchtime. What am I going to do? All right. Here's the thing. If I don't act like there's a sense of urgency to install it, people will put it off for two weeks. And the thing is, if you put it off for an afternoon, it's not a big deal. Your computer is not going to download this massive update from Microsoft right away Monday morning at 8 o'clock. Okay? Will it download it by you know, the, the first weekend of May? It could. So it's important that when this update comes that you start the process of getting it downloaded as quickly as possible. So we're going to send an email. I'm going to do a Facebook post. We're going to do a live post because those get a little more attention. We're going to boost it so that more people see it. But it, we're going to tell people it's time to run your update. Run your creator's update now. Get everything going. That way, we're good to go and we're ready. Okay. So right now, the things that you can do to help us out, we get a ton of phone calls from customers that have, that have issues with the creator's update when they went the Shrock Safe upgrade. They have issues with the Shrock Safe upgrade. And they're usually really, really easy, silly things. Like, I downloaded it, but it didn't do anything. Did you double click to run it? Oh, yeah, okay. No, seriously, that's a real support call. Like, we're, we're, th we're considering coming up with a Q&A that, that has that in it because we get that call, okay? So here's the thing. Take an opportunity today on Sunday afternoon when you have the time. There's no pressure. There's not this huge sense of urgency to get it done, get it done, get it done. You can download your copy of Schrock Safe Upgrade right now from your Schrock account. And if you can't reset your password or you don't know your password or you can't get logged in, this is the time today, you know, Saturday, Sunday, to give us a call and say, hey, I need help getting into my Schrock account, as opposed to Monday morning when everyone and their dog normally calls us anyway. Monday's a busy day. And then we're going to have everybody calling us on top of that for the Safe Upgrade. Knock this, do yourself a favor, knock it out today. If you need support or help, you're going to get much better service today than you will tomorrow. And it's not because we don't want to give great service. It's just because we're human. We have almost 1,000 people that have this program. And, a, and, and last time we said go, and it was live for eight hours almost, and only 180 people installed, and it was like hell week in the service center. It was bad, just the, the support calls. And everybody got it. It worked fine for everybody. The program is great. It's just that we got to educate people on how to use it, and this is only the second time, so there's a little bit of a learning curve there, okay? So if you've purchased Schrock Safe Upgrade, please remember you need to buy one copy per computer that you want to upgrade. You cannot use the upgrade on multiple computers, number one, because you're getting a warranty. And so obviously we can't warranty every computer if you don't buy a copy for every computer. Just the one that it gets run on, it'll fingerprint that computer, the system knows. So you don't have to worry about codes or anything like that anymore. It's all stupid magic simple. Okay, That's number one. Number two, if you purchased a Schrock Safe Upgrade already, please go ahead to schrockinnovations.com, log into your account, and download your copy of Schrock Safe Upgrade today. Save yourself the time later. Okay, When you get the email, or you see it on Facebook, or you see it on Facebook Live, that it is time to run the creator's update, do it as soon as you can. Okay, You don't have to do it that minute. If you turn your computer off, this is one of the questions. If I, I can't get home right now, but my computer's turned off, is it going to get the update? That We're going to put that in an FAQ. No joke. We got that call so many times. And we're like, no, if your computer's off, it can't update anything. So you're good to go. Well, Thor always told me to leave it on all the time, so that's why I turn it off. You know, that's all right. It's a preference thing. You're good to go. Whatever you want to do, if the computer's off, it's no getting no updates, okay? 
And then when you turn it on, you can download and run Safe Upgrade. All right, sounds good. So 866-496-8772. I hope I've been pretty clear about that. But if you have questions about Schrock Safe Upgrade, today is the day to call 866-496-8772. If you're planning on buying a copy of Schrock Safe Upgrade, you can do so on our website. When we open at the service center, you can do so in the service center. You can call in and buy it over the phone. You can come into the service center and buy a copy of Schrock Safe Upgrade. Now, here's the thing. We're not going to give you a box. Right, we're gonna we're gonna set you up a Schrock account just like everybody else, and we'll process your card in the service center. Some people just don't like to use their cards online. Okay, well, we'll get you all taken care of. If you are somebody that just doesn't want to deal with the whole online thing, if your time, if you just want to have us do it, you don't really care about saving the little bit of money by having you done yourself at home and everything like that. You can simply drop your computer off today at Schrock Innovations, and we will do the update for you tomorrow when it's released. And it's $80 for us to do it in the shop on the bench, okay? Right now, our benches are virtually clear. We saw, we saw the alert on this yesterday. We put in extra hours to get the benches clear. So if you want to bring your computer in to have that update done, I can all but guarantee you, unless there's a problem with the update, you'll have your computer back same day, okay? So 866-496-8772. If you call in and ask me any question like, G Thor, when is your service center open so I can bring my computer in? You could win $25, okay? So if you're planning on coming in, try to win the $25. 866-496-8772. Got to take our first break of the show. That one went a bit long, but uh, stay tuned, and I'll answer some Facebook questions during the break. Back for a minute on Compute This. Schrock Innovations can't teleport technicians to you, but online help is only a click away with the Schrock Desk. Subscribe today and get unlimited help whenever you need it. External hard drives are handy. You can back up multiple computers to them or even use them to move lots of data from one computer to another. Computer users have been buying the same old external hard drives for years. While our computers have been getting faster, we still do backups that take hours or watch epic progress bars creep by to move files. Schrock wanted more for our customers, so our innovators created the fastest external hard drives on the planet. Schrock modular storage devices are up to 50% faster than Seagate or Western Digital Externals and are modular in the truest sense of the word. We can create whatever size and speed of drive you need for all of your needs and all modular storage devices come with a data restoration guarantee if you use our drives for backing up and your computer's hard drive fails we'll restore your backup to your repaired computer for free fast simple and flexible technology solutions from Schrock Innovations it's what we do compute this pro tip 299 there are enough mothballed computers in U.S. homes to give one to every man, woman, and child in the country. Many of these computers find their way into landfills where they can leak cadmium, lithium, and other nasty chemicals into the groundwater. Schrock Innovations is very proud of the fact that we recycle more e-waste every year than we create. You can drop off any old or broken computer equipment to our service centers at any time, free of cost. We only charge $15 just for monitors because they are especially difficult to process. No appointment is required, and we accept all computer-related equipment like printers, keyboards, speakers, and accessories. Additionally, the rare earth elements in computers can be recycled right here in the U.S. to reduce our reliance on supplies from foreign countries. Take a moment, drop off your old computer equipment today, and Schrock will make sure it's properly recycled and put to good use right here in the U.S. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. My name's Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Three locations, Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, where each service center kind of has a specialty, a specialization, if you will. And it's not so important that you know this for your own, you know, where to drop things off, but it's just kind of cool, this little Schrock factoid. The service center in Lincoln was the original service center ever opened. It was opened about 19 years ago, um, and it was a big deal when we did it. We were located in, like, a little back office park like we rented half of a bay that faced away from the traffic area like on the back side of the building we faced a cornfield <laughs> at the time um and uh, and it, it was like super scary because the rent there was like 750 dollars a month and you know we were we were only doing like 100 grand a year at that time uh which you know i thought was like woohoo we're 
you know, going gangbusters. But then, you know, you realize you start paying all the bills and all of a sudden there's no money left. And you're like, wait a minute, we're not doing something right here. Um, but uh, that was the that was a big deal. And then uh, we outgrew that location in like a year. Uh, we just had too much volume for it. We, had, we built a conference room in it, a great big conference room. And uh, then because we were going to do some classes, but then, you know, you Metro in Omaha and Southeast Community College in Lincoln, their classes are so inexpensive that we, you know, there's just no way we could do it. And so we had this giant conference room. So we just ended up like all conference rooms. It just became like a gathering place for junk. And then we'd during maintenance sales. We'd stack the computers in there because, you know, we built little offices to fix the computers. And like a guy could sit at a desk and fix a computer. And uh, that was stupid. We need big rooms with big benches. And so we knocked out all the walls, and I learned important lessons about construction. Like if you knock out a wall that has a drop ceiling on, e on both sides of the wall and you rip the wall out of the middle, the drop ceiling will fall down and smack you in the dome like, like a swing. It'll come down, pow, and knock you over. And the lights, you see, they're connected to the ceiling and to the power. So when the ceiling swings down, the wires tend to rip. And so that's when you have to pull your truck up to the front window of the shop because you're working at night and turn the headlights on so that you can try to prop your ceiling back up so you can open for work the next day. Yeah, so you see, these are the things that you learn as an entrepreneur along the way. I'm so wise now. So wise. I was so stupid. Such a dumb kid. 866-496-8772. Let's jump into those phones. Mark, you're the first caller of the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Good morning, Thor. Hey. Good morning. Um... Um, several weeks ago, my daughter called me up because her laptop, it's a Toshiba, I believe. Um, she was doing a Windows up, up, and now on her boot up, it just goes to a menu with like the choice of going off of a USB or right. some other operating system. And no matter what you pick, it just reboots again. The same thing. Okay. Um, so there's a few possibilities. Before her computer went down, did she happen to have Drive Advisor installed on it? No. Okay. Um, and the reason I asked, Drive Advisor is a free program that that Troc Innovations makes. We give it away for free at driveadvisor.com. Driveadvisor er e r dot com. Okay. You can get it for free. You put it on the computer. The only thing it does is send you an email if your hard drive is bad. Um, so that's okay. the, that's the first thing is when you're getting these Windows updates. If you have a hard drive that's failing. Um, that can cause all kinds of issues, especially on laptops. Laptop hard drives have a much higher failure rate. Um, so that's the first thing that I would suspect is maybe there's an issue with the hard drive that caused the update to fail. Now, this is not the Spring Creators update that, that failed here. This is probably the regular Patch Tuesday uh, updates from the, the second Tuesday of the month that finally installed later on in the month here. Um, now, is she local or is she off in college somewhere? Well, we're in Columbus. Oh, gotcha. So... Yeah, so just a uh, hop, skip, and a long car ride away. Um, but, yeah, so basically what needs to happen for this basically is we, need to, we would need to get a hold of the hard drive and test that first. Um, then once mm -hmm. we know the hard drive is good, uh, you need a repair installation of Windows. Now, the, all of her documents and stuff are still on the hard drive. Her files are still there. So you have a couple options mm -hmm. here. Option one is if there's nothing on the computer that she needs to keep, you can just do a factory restore. And literally, it'll put the original version of Windows on the computer that it came with. It'll put all the original software that came from Toshiba on the computer. And then it's going to download a monster load of updates and then run all the updates again. The upside there is you don't have to take it anywhere. You don't have to spend any money. The downside is you're going to lose whatever's on that hard drive. There are uh, right. obviously technical ways around that. You can take the hard drive out yourself and put it in a hard drive dock uh, and then hook it up to another computer and copy the user folders off. Um, so, you know, those are the kind of things we would do in the shop if we had to do that so you get your data back. Um, that, that would be a backup wipe and install, basically. Um, so be, that's, that's what I would recommend. That's, that's the first diagnostic step is let's find out if the hard drive is bad because if the hard drive is bad, doing a factory restore, even if it works, is only a temporary solution. It's just going to go bad again. Um, on the right. other hand, if the hard drive is healthy, then doing a factory restore is a really good, great way to save money. But if you get the computer up and running after a factory restore, install Drive Advisor. That will tell you if the hard drive is bad. Okay, so you're talking about hooking it up um, to another computer or something to yes. uh, get the files off. Is that even even when it's at that just sitting at that menu, you can do that? Well, or? you have to open the laptop and then remove the hard drive, the storage device from the laptop, oh, oh, and then oh, put oh, it into oh, another okay, adapter okay, okay. and hook that up to another computer. So yeah, you don't just like jack right, the computer okay. directly up, yeah. but yeah, unfortunately, right. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I got but you. yeah, Mark, and if you're ever in the uh, the Omaha or Lincoln metro areas, you know, we would be happy to take care of this for you. We, if you're coming in from out of town, we do have customers that come in from from out, you know, further out in the state. And when they do come in, if they give us a you know give us a call the day before, let us know you're coming, and we'll prep a bench spot for you so that we can try to get you done the same day so you can take it home with you. I see. Super. All righty. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks for the call, Mark. And that gets Mark in the drawing for the $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. we got to take a quick break. More guys coming up next on Compute This. If you can dream it, Schrock Interactive's website developers can make it happen. Refresh your website, automate sales and marketing, and grow your business today with Schrock Interactive. Schrock Innovations has spent nearly two decades working to make your technology life easier. And the all-new SchrockInnovations.com is no exception. Now you can order new modular computers and solid-state laptops directly from our website, secure your computer with our virus-free guaranteed semantic endpoint software, find innovative new technologies like our modular storage devices, and get free help and tips. Take a look at the special section to find sales on one-of-a-kind items, display models, refurbished units, and our latest special offers swing by the compute this page to watch tv segments and archived radio shows or even get one-on-one -on -one help through the schrock desk as always we respect your privacy so we secure our website with the latest encryption technology and only the most secure payment methods you can pick up your purchases at any of our three service centers or have them shipped directly to your door the new schrockinnovations.com makes technology simple it's what we do Compute this Pro Tip 843. Of all computer failures, the scariest and most expensive is the hard drive. But there are some steps you can take to save money and save your data before it's too late. Detecting failures early is important, so install a free utility like DriveAdvisor from driveadvisor.com to monitor your hard drive's health and receive warnings when there's a problem. But most of all, hard drive failures happen slowly, so early detection is key to reducing the repair bill. Second, if your hard drive makes any unusual noises, immediately turn off your computer and do not turn it on again. These issues are physical problems, and the more you try to use it, the worse the damage becomes. Remember that most computer repair shops do not have the specialized equipment needed to recover data from a failed drive. Never open your drive or allow anyone else to do so. Open drives always cost more to recover. Schrock does not charge for data recovery evaluations and quotes, so let the local pros look at your drive before you make any recovery decisions. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Fox News Radio, I'm Karen McHugh. The two Koreas now working to follow up on a pledge by Kim Jong-un to denuclearize the peninsula. North and South Korea are now deep in discussions about how and when to open up the closure of the North's nuclear testing site to international visitors. A move towards transparency that just a few weeks ago would have seemed completely impossible. Fox's Jillian Turner, a summit between President Trump and Kim could happen soon. A four-day manhunt for a suspected cop killer ends in Maine. State Police Lieutenant to John Coates says they tracked 29-year-old John Williams to a camp Saturday about 12 miles from where Somerset County Sheriff's Corporal Eugene Cole's body was found. Throughout the week, we found tracks that appeared to be fresh and just continued to confirm our fact that we had him contained in that area. Sheriff Dale Lancaster says they used the dead deputy's handcuffs for the arrest. Fox Joe Chiaro, Fox News, we report to you side. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. This late morning, going into the early afternoon hours, we cannot rule out a stray shower to work its way across the metro and mainly south. You'll also notice those strong winds moving out of the south and east, gusting upwards of 45 miles per hour at times. Otherwise, our temperature for this afternoon will top off at 77 degrees before falling off into the upper 50s tonight. With Omaha's most accurate weather team, I'm 6 News meteorologist Peter Sherwood on News Radio 1110 KFAB. All righty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company, where we have just scratched the surface on what we need to cover today on the program. I know it seems like there's been like a lot of discussion about updates, and oh, golly, the big one's coming. This is a message from Carolyn we just got on Facebook. This is the kind of questions that we're going to get all day tomorrow when we release this, and everyone's trying to update. So Carolyn writes, we bought two upgrades, the Safe Upgrade products. We downloaded them when you sent the original message when Microsoft first released the update. On one computer, the update loaded, and the other one, it did not. 
So now I can't figure out where my upgrades are because when I go to the website, it says I need to buy new ones and I can't get on the phone to Papillion today. All right, so when you go to the website at schrockinnovations.com, you go to, into your Schrock account and you download, you go to your previous purchases and there'll be a link there that you can download what you've already purchased in the past. You're not trying to buy new ones. If you've already purchased the safe upgrade, you're using the one, the, 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 I should be more clear, if you already purchased safe upgrade in the last like 20 days but you know the, the spring one not the one from last year but the spring one you just go to schrockinnovations.com you download it and you run it it has to be the spring one it'll say spring creators update it has to be that one if it's any other one like the fall creators update that one doesn't do the job you want the spring creators update in fact you running the wrong one can actually be not good so carolyn just go back to the website to your schrock innovations account and you can download those two copies Again, or if you have them on the computer still, you mentioned you ran it on one computer and it worked. The other one it didn't take for some reason. You can run that same program again, and it will try to do the update again. Except right now, when you run that, you don't even have to download it again, Carolyn, as long as you still have it on the hard drive. Run it again, and it'll say, oh, it's not time yet. And then tomorrow, when we flip the switch and turn it on, you run it. Or on the 30th, I should say, because if you're hearing this you know, on other stations, it could be after the 30th. On the 30th, we're going to flip that switch. And when that happens, it's going to download the the correct update and run it. So you with the Spring Creators update uh, and the Schrock Safe upgrade, you could install it over and over and over and over again if you were really bored. You could just, like, keep doing it all day, and it doesn't care. It's not like a – it's not a one-time use thing. It's a one-time – it's a one-per-computer thing. And then you can run it. And if it fails the first time, you can run it a second time. And see if it fails the second time. That's the first thing we're going to tell you to do, Carolyn, is if you run it and it doesn't work, we're going to say, can you run it again? A lot of times the reasons it doesn't take is because your Internet connection got interrupted. This is a 3.2 gigabyte download. It is epically massive. If you're on a Cox connection in the Omaha metro area, this is 3.5% of your monthly allotment of bandwidth for one update. Now imagine you're downloading it from Microsoft and it keeps failing over and over and over, you could go through 3% of your allotted bandwidth a day yeah, on top of what you normally use for streaming and everything else. Uh, same thing for, uh, for charter customers, everything else. I mean, it's, it's a pretty big deal. So make sure you get Shrock Safe Upgrade if you want it. If you don't want it, that's cool. We can do it on the bench in the shop for you. So if that's an option, maybe like Carolyn here, she got it and worked fine on one computer, and the other computer is giving her a headache. Bring it on into the Papillion Service Center. We can do it on the bench instead. There's just that $30 price difference between doing it yourself at home for 50 bucks and doing it on our bench for 80 And we'll, char we'll just upcharge you the $30, and we'll do it on the bench. So that's the thing you can get in. Now, speaking of coming in, I mentioned that the benches are clear right now because we anticipate people coming in to do the safe upgrade. Well, if our benches are clear, is that not a perfect time for you to use your preventative maintenance checkup certificates that you've already bought? Not selling any certificates here. They're not on special. I'm just saying, if you bought one so that you could come in when it wasn't busy, I just said our benches are clear in all three shops, which technically kind of means, you know, from a repair perspective, we're not that busy. So you could bring your computer in now and get an excellent turnaround time. Just saying. All right, 866-496-8772. Those are the numbers to join us on the program and get a chance to win that $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. All right, so one other quick thing I want to, uh, to mention here today. It's just kind of interesting. I saw a headline on ZDNet that said, why SATA, flash, or why SATA flash drives are being left in the dust. Now, what is a SATA flash drive? Well, this is a solid-state hard drive. So the solid-state hard drives that that we've all been using for the last, you know, five years, they're too slow now. Can you believe that? A lot of you don't even have solid states yet in your computers. In fact, when, you have, when we have customers that come in with failed hard drives, we are now actively giving them the choice between replacing with a mechanical drive, like what they had before, or for like it's usually 50 or $70 more to upgrade to a solid state. And when they get the computer back after that solid state upgrade, not only does the computer work properly, but it is mondo faster than it was before. Like, wicked fast. Like, oh my gosh, it's like a new computer fast. Um, and that's the difference that the, these SATA flash drives can make. And what this article is saying is, now those are too slow. And there's this new kind called the NVMe uh, uh, flash drives. NVMe flash drives. So, as we do on Compute This, 
We're going to break it down Barney style for you. That's right. SATA flash drives attached to your computer with screws. And they look like a laptop hard drive. Two and a half inches, like a, like a credit card size hard drive, right? NVMe hard drives. They look like you cracked your flash drive open and took the guts out and stuffed it onto the motherboard of your computer. Yeah, like there was a port for that or something. That's what they look like. And they use one little screw to go down, but it's a tiny little screw. And you have to have a motherboard that supports NVMe hard drives, which most of them don't because it's a newer tech. But guess what, guys? Let's say, for the sake of discussion, you were considering purchasing a new computer, and you were considering the box stores, and you were considering Schrock Innovations. Perhaps you've even heard of a special we're running right now called the Ultimate Upgrade Sale, where you can trade in any old computer you want for like $130 in credit against new computers. So it's up to $130 in credit. Um, and we don't use any of the parts from your old computer. You can trade in anything you want. We had somebody trade in a Commodore computer. We had somebody last year trade in a VTech Kids laptop. Like, you know, the one you buy at, like, the, before Toys R Us went bust? That, you know, it was, it's a kid's laptop, and you push, like, the spelling buttons. I mean, it, it's not even really a laptop. It, it was kind of a push to take it on a trade-in, but we thought, that's guts right there. You know, you're going to bring in a VTech Kids laptop and slap it on the table. That's a poker player right there. I'm going to reward that with a yes, okay? Uh, so we took that one on trade. It was pretty funny. But here's the thing. When you get the ultimate upgrade, which is the least expensive modular computer that we offer all year long, even that computer is built for upgradability. Even that computer comes with the NVMe port on the motherboard. Because someday, a decade from now, you might decide you want one of those hard drives. Someday, a decade from now, that might be the only solid-state hard drives that are still available. And when that day comes, your computer will be able to be upgraded, whereas other computers out there will not be able to take advantage of the benefits of solid state because the old ones have gone away, and now all we have are these new microchip ones, and your motherboard doesn't support it. So the moral of the story here is when you go modular at Schrock, when we see headlines like this, like SATA flash drives are going away, you don't got to worry about it because we already planned ahead for that. In fact, all the computers that we've sold for the last nine months – have the NVMe port on the motherboard. We just did it. <laughs> it was it was the right thing to do to keep the modular nature moving forward. 866-496-8772. By the way, the ultimate upgrade is still in full effect at all three service centers. You can also check that out on our website at schrockinnovations.com. It's also on that specials page. If you go to shop and specials to look for the safe upgrade, you will see the ultimate upgrade there. It's laptop and desktop. You can take your pick. They're the same price at $479. Um, so it's a pretty sweet deal, pretty sweet deal. You can check out all the specs and everything at schrockinnovations.com. And you don't trade in your old computer until the new one is ready for you. Uh, once the new one's ready, you can trade in your old one at that point. And we can do data transfers, like what I was talking about that previous caller about. We can do all that for you in the service center. 866-496-8772. Chuck, welcome to the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Yes, good morning, Thor. Good morning. Um, just to have a quick quick question. Um, I'm in need of a maintenance checkup. Okay. And should I have that done before I have the spring uh, upgrade? Okay, quick question. Are you going to use Safe Upgrade to do it, or do you plan to do it yourself? Um, or just let Microsoft automatically do it, I should say. Well, I, I bought the upgrade from you, and I was going to try and do it myself. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah, that's why I corrected that, because you, you're technically, if you buy Safe Upgrade, you're still doing it yourself. So there's you can, you can use Safe Upgrade. You can let Microsoft just come get you in the night whenever, <laughs> you know, whenever they decide it's your time. Um, or you can uh, bring it into the shop and we can do it on the bench for you. Now, here's the thing. If you have the Schrock Safe Upgrade, this is what I was talking about in the first segment. If you have Schrock Safe Upgrade, it's like you have a warranty. So if you can install that Spring Creators update and something goes sideways, you have a warranty with us and we're going to take care of that for you. Now, here's the thing. If your data gets lost, we can't do anything about that. We can try to recover it, but... That's just it. By the nature of that kind of an upgrade, the data is usually not recoverable. So the one thing I would tell you to make sure before you do the spring upgrade, if you have a backup drive, you should be doing a backup of your computer anyway. Do a backup. In fact, the safe upgrade software will warn you to do a backup. It'll say, do you have a backup? And most people will just click, eh, whatever, and click next. 
And, you know, I'm, one in a hundred people will be like, oh, I wish I had a backup. I bought the backup from you. It's supposed to be automatic. I think I plug it into the back of the computer and mm -hmm. yep. it's a separate little box. That's right. It's a Schrock modular storage device. When you plug that into the computer, uh, if we set up the backup for you, it's going to run Sundays, Sunday evenings. The drive has to be plugged into the computer, and the computer has to be turned on to get that to run. Now, the other thing is you can, uh, you can also do a manual backup. You can trigger a backup. If you click on Start in the lower left-hand corner of your screen and then click on that gear to go into Settings, there's a it, basically update and security. It's the very last control panel down on the bottom. You can click on that, and right there under backup, you can say, you know, run a backup. And the backup that we like to set up for people is the backup and restore Windows 7 option. Uh, and the reason we use that one is it gives us an image backup, which means if something goes wrong with your computer, we can restore that image, which is why it says on the back of that Schrock modular storage device, if you get the Schrock modular storage device and we set your backup up for you, you have a valid backup on it, if your hard drive goes belly up, we'll restore that backup to your fixed computer for free. Um, so that's one of the okay. cool things about having that backup. So as long as you've got a backup, you, know, you don't have to come in for a maintenance checkup before you do the spring upgrade because you have a warranty on it. Now, if, on the other hand, you did not have that, that Schrock safe upgrade and you were planning on just letting Microsoft do it, I would then ask you, how long has it been since your last maintenance checkup? How long has it been, Chuck? Um, probably a year. Okay. We want, we, and we recommend, we want to see it, kind of like your dentist, we want to see you every six months. Um, so you're due. You're due for a checkup. So here's the thing. If you want to do the safe upgrade, you can go ahead and do that. But either way, now is an excellent time to come in for that maintenance checkup. If you have a certificate that's prepaid, burn it now. This is, a, this is the time for fast turnaround if you want to get that. If you are just due for a maintenance, if you haven't had one in six months, you can come on in too and get it right up on the bench and we get it done for you real quick. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll try and, br try and bring it in this afternoon. Then. All right, sounds good, Chuck. We're open Saturday from 10 to 8 and Sunday from noon to 5. Okay. Thank right. you very much, for No sweat. Have Appreciate a great morning. It. Thank you for the call. Appreciate it. And that puts Chuck in the drawing, too. Wow, it's starting to get a little thick in there. 866-496-8772. Let's get one more call before we take our final break here. Paul, how can I help you today on Compute This? Uh, yes, yeah, so we purchased your uh, the, the safe upgrader early on and had it on, and then when the, we were one of the ones that got the note to go ahead and download uh, the new Windows 10, and it, we, it failed to the point that we had to bring our computer in, and you guys had it for a day or so and got everything all squared away on it. Gotcha. Got it back. So do we have to download the, the upgrader again? Well, you need to have a copy of it. Before? You need to have a copy okay. of it to run. So basically, here's the thing. The, the Schrock Safe Upgrade program is the same program. You download that, you put it on your computer, and you run it. When you run the program, it takes a fingerprint of your computer based on your hardware and your, your Windows 10 license and a bunch of other stuff. And it says, right. has this computer ever run this update before? And if the answer is yes, then we just use that same license again. And if the answer okay. is no, then we check your account and say, did you, how many licenses did you buy? Did you buy two? Then the answer is yes. We, use one, we burn one of your licenses. So that's how we got rid of the activation codes this time because those were a nightmare last time. So no activation okay, only, codes. You just download the program yeah, we, and run it. Yeah, because we, we only bought the one, and so um, that's why I was just wondering if we have to down. We know that we have to download the new, your new spring update or, or whatever you want to call it, uh, March and the whatever you know April one or whatever. So, right. So now the so we have to. The April one is the same as the spring update. It's the same thing. Okay. So if you bought the spring update, you've already got it, but you need one okay, copy for I, each computer. But when I brought my computer in and they fit it all fixed up, then I assume that it's on there now then. Well, I, I, I don't want to assume. We may have emptied your temporary okay. downloads, for example. Oh, and so you, okay, you, so we got to go in and check. You okay. might want to just double-check and make sure it's still there so you're ready to rock and roll. And so we just go to your website and, and, uh, and get our, you know, our account and all that kind of stuff, then, right? Yep, that's right. You go to schrockinnovations.com. In the top right corner, you click on to your account, and you log in, and then it'll show you all of your, your downloadable items. That you're basically your digital products, and your Schrock Safe Upgrade will be in there. Okay, very good. All right, sounds good. Thank, Thank you for you. the call, Chuck. I appreciate it. All right, 866-496-8772. Got to take our final break of the show. When we come back, an important update about Secure Updater. For those of you who have issues with Java updating, your problems are solved, and we're going to tell you all about what's been going on next on Compute This. 
Drive Advisor is a free program from Truck Innovations that monitors your hard drive's health and tells you if it's going bad. Download it for free at driveadvisor.com. Some people like desktops for their power and upgradability, but nothing rivals a laptop for computing on the go. But why should you have to sacrifice performance for portability? The innovators at Schrock want our customers to have it all. So we created a new kind of laptop, the Solid State Laptop from Schrock Innovations. Solid State Laptops are built using the same frame and main boards as regular laptops, but we've removed half of the moving parts while more than doubling the computer's speed. The result? Laptops that boot to Windows in six seconds or less, respond instantly to your commands, and can survive drops that put most laptops into the data recovery lab. Starting at only $4.99, Solid State Laptops give you speed, reliability, durability, and performance for the same price most people pay for a cheap disposable laptop. The next time you're looking for a laptop, check out the Solid State Laptops at SchrockInnovations.com or visit any of our service centers. Simple, solid, fast technology is what we do at Schrock. Compute this Pro Tip 578. Technology is constantly changing, so how can you tell when the time has come to recycle your old outdated computer and invest in a new one? Experts have rules of thumb and formulas, but Schrock believes the answer is simple. You should replace your old computer when it can no longer do the things you need in a secure way. For example, you should not be using operating systems like Windows XP or Vista because they're no longer maintained by Microsoft and they're not secure. And if your computer cannot run Windows 10, it's probably time to begin saving for a replacement. If your existing computer requires of repair and that cost is 50% or more of the cost of a new computer, it might be time to consider a replacement. But keep in mind, additional costs like data transfers and important software you have to upgrade like genealogy software or Quicken. And also keep in mind that modern computers are engineered to last 18 months for a normal user. And don't worry, you are considered a normal user. Schrock modular PCs and solid state laptops are specifically designed to last four to six years for that same normal user, saving your family money and time. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, guys. Welcome back to Compute This. I just did a rapid fire email session with a number of people who emailed me with or emailed the shops. When you email the shops, I always see a copy of it. And so I'm responding to people here. And it's apparent that I've confused the heck out of many of you. Okay? So let me, just for the sake of clarity, I'm going to wrap this up into one nice bow. The Spring Creators Update is being released tomorrow, which is, to some people, the 30th of April. Okay? When it comes out, you will get an email from Schrock once we have tested it to make sure it doesn't blow up the world. We'll tell you to go ahead and start downloading it using your Schrock Safe Upgrade. Now, when you purchased Schrock Safe Upgrade, you went to our website at schrockinnovations.com and you bought one or more copies because you had to buy one for each computer. What that did is in your Schrock account, so just like if you, were, you have an online shopping account at Amazon or somewhere else, you have an account now at Schrock Innovations. So if you go to schrockinnovations.com, you can log into your account in the top right corner. And it will show you your purchase history of everything you've ever bought, including the Spring Creators update. You can click on that and download it to your computer if you need to download it. And you can run it on Monday. And if the update is ready to go, it will tell you it's ready to go and it'll do it. If it's not ready, it'll tell you it's not ready yet and wait a little while and try again later. Okay? So there's, there, there it is. Okay? I've left out all the little confusing details. I'm sure there's a million questions out there. If you have them, you can call 866-496-8772. You can also stay tuned after the program for a, I have a very brief aftershock. I'm on a schedule today, but I know I didn't do one last week, so we're going to do an aftershock really quickly uh, afterwards to address any additional questions you might have. All right, now, speaking of questions, I've received a lot of questions about Secure Updater over the past couple weeks, um, and it was a conundrum. Uh, we had a situation where three applications were not updating properly, but all others were. Java would not update iTunes wouldn't update, and Adobe uh, Reader wouldn't update of all the stupid things. Um, and so it was inconsistent. It would update on some computers and not other computers. We would test it in the shop, and it would work fine. Then we get calls and questions from customers who were using Secure Updater saying it wasn't working at all. What gives? Well, I'm going to sneeze. Ooh, excuse me. So here's the deal. There, we had two things going on. Number one, um, we, when we downloaded the Java package from Oracle's website, we got a corrupt download. 
And when we repackaged that download to get all the bloatware taken out of it to send it out to you so it didn't install all the garbage software on your computers, we had no idea that that update was not a, a valid update. And so when we repackaged it and we sent it out through Secure Updater, it, it, it uninstalled your old version of Java, and it seemed to be working just fine. But in fact, it wasn't. And so what it did is it would download over and over and over again. We caught that because that impacted everybody. That was easy to catch. So then we fixed that. But then after that, we still had sporadic people reporting to us that Java would not install properly. And we were going batty trying to figure it out. It took a week and a half. We finally figured out um, uh, Kaspersky was trying to also update Java. Kaspersky is the Russian-made antivirus product. They also try to download updates for common programs for you in some cases. Well, there was a conflict between Kaspersky and Secure Updater because they were trying to do the same thing at the same time. Um, we got that resolved. We figured it out. We basically changed the name of our download so that it would work and Kaspersky wouldn't flag it. And now it's great. Everything is right with the world. So if you have trouble with your Secure Updater now, it should be an isolated incident on just your computer, and we're happy to help you through it. Just give us a call in the service centers. We'll get you going. On the other hand, if you didn't notice any problems, you're good to go. You can uh, go down to the lower right-hand corner. Your Secure Updater icon, by the way, is no longer a uh, circle with the letter U in it. It is now a shield with the letter U in the middle. So if you've noticed a change in that icon, if you still have the circle, that's not good. You, that means you don't have the current version of Secure Updater, and we need to get you fixed up. All right, today's winner, $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate is Chuck. Congratulations, Chuck. We've got you in the drawing here, and uh, you won. So Christine will get a hold of you on Monday to get you your $25 certificate. If you would like to use it this afternoon to buy the safe upgrade or something, uh, just give us a call in the Lincoln Service Center, and we will get you all taken care of there. All righty. So Omaha Morning Blend tomorrow, 915. So you can uh, check us out there for a limited time engagement before we are all done there because, like I said, they've, uh, they've canceled that. And if you have a problem with that, you can always contact KMTV Channel 3 and see if you can get them to change their mind. But like I said, it's a corporate thing, so I'm not sure they'll understand. Uh, we really like the local aspect of that show. I mean, literally the day they, they canceled that we had a customer that came into the Papillion store and said, I'm here because I saw you on the morning blend. Great. And there's no one else in Omaha or Lincoln that has any kind of a TV presence like that where you, know, you could spend the kind of money we were spending and get six minutes of time. It just doesn't exist anywhere. All right. But my time here is out. Stay tuned for the Aftershock coming up next, and we'll be back again next Sunday for another exciting edition of Compute This. From the Millard Roofing Studios, we've got you covered. This is News Radio 1110 KFAB Omaha, an iHeart radio station. A very big, boring bust. I'm Pam Puso, Fox News. That's how President Trump is describing last night's annual White House Correspondents' Dinner, an occasion he chose not to attend for the second year in a row. You may have heard I was invited to another event tonight. The president opting instead to rally in Michigan. We will make America great again. The president touching on familiar themes like trade, tax cuts, Russia, and the border wall. We've gotten Mexico to work with us.